Hello, this is Kathy from Vincent Music and this is a short tutorial on reading music from lead sheets or from the type of chord diagrams you can print out from the internet, like this one, Ed Sheeran song. Um, and so a lead sheet will give you the melody as well with the chords on top, but often you can't find those on the internet. And they will either have it like this with the chords here, they've got them in red before the word you're supposed to play them with, or sometimes they have it written on top um, with double spacing. So the mass, ma vast majority sorry, of chords that you'll find on a lead sheet like this are either just a major or a minor. So if it's just, a, for example, in this one, we've got A minor. <laughs> pedal on and then we've got D minor and F, F major and G and that's all the chords in there whereas some other chords you might see is Moon River which is a bit more complicated so in this one you'll see we have A minor and then A minor slash G that means A minor with a G at the bottom. So it sounds, normally you would say just an A minor with an A at the bottom maybe. <laughs> but this one you put a G at the bottom, which is interesting. It sounds a bit more spicy. Often, when they have that slash notation, like this one, C over E, that's just a normal inversion because C is in the chord. Bottom. You put the C at the top and you end up with the E at the bottom and in the bass you might play an E in that case. So major and minor, different inversions with that slash notation. And the next most common one you'll see is a seventh chord, a dominant seven. So in that case, here it says B7, so a normal B chord. That's the one, the three, and the five. And then you want to add the seventh note of the chord, which in this case is the A. That's like that. And so that's a, that's a major chord with a minor seven at the top. Sometimes you might get a B major seven, which is a major chord with a major seven at the top. We've got a B7, got an A7, we've got a G7, E7 again, B flat 7. Oh, there's my phone gone. Oh, this is too hard. <laughs> Do I have to start again? Oh, if I can edit that out. Oh, oh it's not going to stay. I think it's just going to fall again. Majors, minors, and dominant sevens, inversions, and another common type of chord you will see. Mm -hmm. There isn't one in that one, but it's a diminished chord, like this one on the page before, which is written something like this F sharp diminished. They're fairly frequent too, not as much. So an F sharp diminished. Take your F sharp major chord and then you turn it into an F minor by putting the middle note down the semitone and you do the same thing with the fifth there. So it's two minor thirds. So that's what it means when it says D. And I guess the next most common thing you might see sometimes you see a minor seven as well which is written, say, an A minor 7 would be written A, M, 7. In that case, you want your A minor chord, and you add that minor 7, like that would be 2. So once you've worked out from your, from your sheet which chords you have to play, and oh, one thing to look out for is when you print things off the internet. 
they're often not in the right key. They're not in the same key as the song. Mm -hmm. Often a dead giveaway if it says something like capo four, capo on four. That means the guitarist has put the capo on the fourth fret, so it's four semitones higher. So when they're playing the, an A minor, it's actually gonna be four semitones higher, and it will be the original key of the song is probably C sharp minor. But sometimes they'll put a capo on to make it in a better key to sing in, or sometimes because the chords are easier. In that case, it depends. So. Um, in order to play a song like this, once you've worked out all the chords, I would normally have a listen to the song and work out the bass line, play the bass line with my left hand and the chords with my right hand. And you can add some of the melody in if you're not going to sing. I normally get someone else to sing. <laughs> someone with a nicer voice than me. <laughs> When you have the lead sheet with the with all the melody written in, that makes it even easier for you. You don't have to go around working out the melody yourself. And this one's a three four. It's got all the chords. And I haven't actually listened to what the bass line sounds like, but it's Moon River. <laughs> it's probably only would go something. Like so, A minor. Oh, I might leave out the introduction. Start it. Let's start at the famous bit. <laughs> In your bass hand, you can normally use whatever whatever the chord says is normally what the bass is going to be. So I was just playing the notes from an A minor chord to start off with there, and then A minor, a minor should have put a G there, and your left hand can do whatever those bass notes says, and then B there, and E where it says E. And, and then your right hand can play the melody, or if you're going to sing, <laughs> just play the chords. And that's an easy way to play off the lead sheet. Mm. Um, anything else to say? Probably. <laughs> A lot of other things to say. Mm. Um, so. Uh, yeah, if you if you know the song well enough to know the the general rhythms, then you you can play straight off the lead sheet. But it's always much more helpful if you listen to the song, and and you can like listening to the bass line is often. Oh. <laughs> I keep dropping my phone. <laughs> Just have to hold the phone. <laughs> anyway, if you can work out your baseline, then 
<laughs> That's a really great way of making the song sound right because we always hear the bass line because it, it's part of the heart of the song. Anyway, um, that's me finished for today and happy playing.